here will pledge that we'll do our bit for our nation, Ghana. This nation will be what God intends it to be. We trust that the Lord will keep us, will give us peace because we call upon his name. He's a God who hears. When, it, when, the, when he was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, he, Abraham kept pleading. And God said, if I have this number of people, I will not destroy it. And he brought it down up to 10. If God were to say, if he saw or he found 10 people in our nation, there will be no destruction here. Will you be counted among the 10? We're going to enter into a time of prayer for our nation. We want to pray for our nation, for the peace of our nation. We want to pray that God will, will bless our nation with peace and prosperity. First of all, as you said, I want us to just say a prayer of thanksgiving to our God for our nation. That he has kept our nation this number of years through the turbulent times of military coups and all that. Up until the time when we entered the fourth republic. That in spite of all the close shaves we've had with violence, God has kept our nation one is to say thank you. Just thank, say thank you to the Lord for our nation. They radias in my mind, Ghana. They radias my mind, Ghana. On our cry and swamaya sumje. On our cry and sum. They radias in more my penny. And for who party, I will support it. Mary Eradia Yini said, Obedi on my yard, and today Radia Simane. So that's a team, Kremu. We want to stand on before half of our nation and plead for forgiveness for the things that we haven't done right, for the negligence that have led to bloodshed on our roads, for the negligence that has led people dying in our hospitals. We want to pray that God will forgive us Forgive our leaders and forgive us as a nation and wash this nation. It says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and repent from their wicked ways and seek my faith. So we want to stand on behalf of our nation and pray, God, forgive our nation. For the times when we have ignored you, for the times when we have turned a blind eye to the things you required us to do. Pray that you will forgive us for the, for the times when we needed to give to the poor and the needy and have instead taken them for ourselves. Ask God to forgive our nation. Nakadia was the Adima in here for near Kuna for near Bobo for night. Your father, my home, a radiant fan chain, Sansa, yes, son, a radiant Cassania, Pitia. A fair one pies a radiant Cassian, a summary thing, war, my so pray that the Lord will pour his peace on our nation. The Lord should cause peace, peace to reign in our nation.
Pray that the Lord will give us the desire for righteousness as a nation that will desire to do that which is right. Pray for our nation. We know our hope is in the Lord who is the Prince of Peace. You need a soul, a war. Pray that when we meet this time next year, we would have reason to thank God because the peace of God would have reigned in our land. wisdom for our leaders. Pray for wisdom for our leaders. Sometimes you realize that the problems we have in our nation are just wisdom problems. Pray that God will give wisdom to our leaders. And in Tiasia, once the sun was coming, no more pictures of them. But yet, the tiny one in him, I'm an assumption in the Nyansa number one. This is the assurance we have that if we pray according to his will, we know that he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, then we know that whatever we pray for, we receive it. So with this assurance, let's thank God for hearing us. 